Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set the fonts in your uh, Apple Mail program. I've already opened up Mail and I closed out my window so that I would have a nice clean screen to work with. Um, you'll normally have your uh, window pulled up in the background and what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to the top of the screen where it says Mail. Click on Mail and then scroll down to where it says Preferences. Whenever you click on Preferences, you're going to get your Preference window pop up. And whenever the uh, Preferences box pops up, chances are you're going to be over here in general. I've been clicking on Font Colors, Fonts and Colors, which is where you want to go. So click on the Fonts and Colors if it's not already selected. And you're going to go down here to where it says Message Fonts. And you're going to select, and another window pops up. I would go with Arial, and I would go with 12 or above. If you're below 12, change it to 12. That should make it easier to read. If you're already at 12, try going to a 14. And notice whenever I change it, you can actually see what it'll look like in this window over here by the word where it says message font. If 14 is not big enough, try 18. A couple things to remember. Uh, email etiquette says that if you type your messages in all caps, it's basically the same thing as yelling at somebody. Likewise, if you type it in all bold, it's basically the same thing as yelling at somebody. And I believe that if you go with a really large font, it is also considered to be yelling. Um, and whenever you see 18, if it's not very big on your screen, remember it might be a lot bigger on somebody else's screen. So just kind of keep those things in mind as you change your fonts so that you can read everything. And however you read it, that's how it'll send. You can't do one for reading and one for sending. So just thought I'd let you know that. There are two others. If you cannot read the, uh, uh, the message list, you can change the font on that. Also, the fixed width, that is for any emails that you get that are not done in HTML, the old, uh, what's called ASCII uh, file format, the, uh, what we used to use about uh, 10 years ago or even older than that. Um, that's the fixed width font. Um, most people don't even use that anymore, but in case you get somebody that does, you may want to go with a larger font on that. So once you have all of that done, um, you're going to click out of the font window, click out of the this preferences box, and you should be ready to go.